All right, so another tip, very important tip, <clears throat> that I've learned the hard way um, over numerous different climbs um, is the rope getting jammed in the soloist device. First time it happened to me was a real hot summer, humid summer, and I thought that uh, it was a humid day and that I had a fat, somewhat uh, frayed sheathed rope that kind of gets soft and sticky and gushy and I thought that that was getting jammed up in the device which I think in theory is possible and may have happened but now after a few more experiences I think actually something very different happened but I didn't realize it at the time if you've seen some of my other videos you might have um, uh, noticed these things um, in my rope free, uh, my free solo and rope solo rock climbing training day video, um, I got a little jammed up. You might not notice in the video, but also, especially in my 12A rope solo in Arco video, it's called Moonwalk 12A rope solo. In that video, you can see my device just getting totally jammed, blows my on site, and even during the send, it's still getting jammed, and I gotta cram my pinky finger inside here while I'm hanging on a 12A crux and pop it open and get, it's just a nightmare. So, it actually wasn't tree sap that went in here, but I'm going to show you. Okay. If you notice inside, you'll see lots of white things caked in there. Now that's not scraped metal, that's not just raw metal. It's right there in the bottom. That is actually chalk paste chalk paste and now if you look at the camming unit itself look at that right there you can see how sticky and horrible that is and that's exactly where the rope runs that's where the rope runs and that's what that is the point right here which would engage the mechanism just like a grigory or a cam <clears throat> that's what this is a cam it's Look, this is the point here where the rope pulls to engage the mechanism. Okay, the teeth are secondary for the bite down process, which you can see they're a bit sticky and gunked up too. But right there, that is just awful. That is why the rope got totally jammed up and I couldn't unlock it, even during a non-fall situation. So, what is that stuff? Alright, so what is this terrible white sticky stuff that jams up the rope inside the device? it's actually chalk. Now it took me two years to realize this because I got my device at the end of the summer last year. <clears throat> it clogged up on me one time and then I didn't use it again until cold weather. Then all through the winter I made the, you guys the rope solo tutorial series some other things. I never had a problem with the rope jamming in the winter. Hmm. Okay. Now again this is my second summer with the device. Okay. I was climbing an Arco Italy, really hot, and I'm just pouring sweat. I'm just dripping off of my face, sweat. It's so hot outside, okay? And I'm rope soloing. So, in the summertime, I'm just profusely sweating. Obviously, I need to use a lot of chalk, okay? So, I'm chalking up my hands, my hands a lot. On the back of my hand, the sweat will run down when it's really hot, and on the back of my hand, there's lots of sweat, water, moistness. Put it, your hand in the chalk bag. The back of your hand turns to this pasty glue. Okay? Well, I'm sure it's happened to many of you guys before. Or girls, sorry. And um, then what happens is you're touching the rope with your gunky, pasty, sweat chalk hands. You're touching the rope right next to the device. So this pasty chalk is getting on the rope about one to two feet from the device and then it runs right through the device. The rope runs through the device caked with pasty chalk nastiness. Okay, So instead of staying on the rope of course that pasty junk is going inside the device and staying on the device. Okay, That's what that is right there. That's chalk and sweat. And once that dries, which happens very quickly because a lot of chalk, chalk has drying agents in it. Okay? So that dries really quickly 
And once that dries, it feels like sap. It's hard, sticky. And once that happens, you're hosed. The rope is totally jammed in the device unless you're climbing a 5.5 and you can have two hands to keep popping it open all the time. You're totally hosed. You gotta come down. You have to clean out the device, which is hard. You have to find sticks and rocks. And you have to scrape it. Or maybe if you got a knife, you can scrape it out. But it gets clogged up deep inside the device, all the way in the back. So it's really hard to get in there and clean it out. So be very careful when you're rope soloing in the summer and you're sweating a lot and you're using lots of chalk, which those two things usually go hand in hand, but it's disaster for rope solo. And I haven't really figured a way around this. Maybe there isn't one. Hey, if you can think of something, let me know. And if I think of something, I'll let you guys know. But just something to be careful of. Aaron Stockhausen signing out.